It's time to get pitch slapped. Oh yeah, look at this cup. Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Pitch Perfect 2. So, Pitch Perfect 2 is directed by Elizabeth Banks. It stars Anna Kendrick, Haley Steinfeld, Rebel Wilson, Keegan Michael Key, and Manny Moore. I'm gonna stop there. So Pitch Perfect 2 is obviously the sequel to Pitch Perfect from 2012 and this film is about the Bellas being suspended from doing any kind of singing competition after a very crucial event that happened regarding Rebel Wilson. So now the Bellas have to enter an international competition in order for them to have the rights back to perform. The only problem is that no American group has ever won an international competition before, so it's up to the Bellas to find their voice and make sure they win that competition so that, like I said, they have the rights to go out and perform. So going into Pitch Perfect 2, I was actually interested in this film. Even though I wasn't too crazy about the original Pitch Perfect, I thought it was enjoyable to an extent. It was okay, it was decent, but I just didn't think it was as great as everyone was really praising out to be. But I do understand why people like it, I just couldn't quite enjoy it as much as the majority. But even with all that, I was still looking forward to Pitch Perfect 2. I was hoping this would be better than the first one, I was hoping I'd actually like it this time around, and after watching Pitch Perfect 2, I'm actually happy to say, I really did enjoy this movie more than the first one, which like I said was decent, but I did think Pitch Perfect 2 was a good, very funny, and it was a really enjoyable movie. Now, the cast, just like with the first one, they all do a very good job. Anna Kendrick is still the sweet, wonderful, charming, beautiful girl. She still brings her charisma this time around, and she does do a really good job. Rebel Wilson, I gotta say, she was really good here. I actually enjoyed her more in the sequel than I did in the original. Because yes, while she did have her moments in the original of making me laugh, she did really get on my nerves. But in the sequel, she was actually funny. So I really thought Rebel Wilson did a very splendid job in the role. And we also have the new addition of Haley Steinfeld joining the Bellas. And that was one of the things I was excited about because when I read the news that Haley Steinfeld was gonna be in Pitch Perfect 2, I actually thought that was really cool because Haley Steinfeld was one of those actresses I could see fit in this world where the Bellas are singing and I was really looking forward to see how she would handle being in the group and I gotta say she was a wonderful addition. Keegan-Michael Key from the Comedy Central show Key and Peele is in this movie. I love Key and Peele. I think that's a hilarious sketch comedy show. I'm a huge fan of that show. I love their sketches. And it was really cool when Keegan Michael Key was in this movie. Which is cool because I think the guy is likable. And I really do hope he makes more movies because I really do like him. I also gotta say, I enjoyed the singing more this time around the sequels. Because don't get me wrong, in the original, I had fun with the singing. But... I think in the sequel, they really just spiced up the singing more. It was more fun. I found myself smiling more during the singing. There was this one singing scene, which David Cross makes an appearance in, and that whole scene might have been my favorite singing moment in the entire movie. Elizabeth Banks and John Michael Higgins, of course, they return as the commentators for those singing competitions. They were just as funny as they were in the first one. If not, maybe just a little funnier, because they were honestly one of the best parts about the first Pitch Perfect. And I gotta say, for what Elizabeth Banks was given to direct the movie, I thought she did a really splendid job. I think she really got the style on what this movie is all about with the Bella singing, dancing, their bond, their friendship, the connections that they have with each other. I think out of everyone, Elizabeth Banks really understands, so I think she was the perfect choice to direct the sequel. 
I really did enjoy the storyline of the Bellas having to find ways to find their voice and connect more in order to hopefully win the international competition so they can perform. Now my only flaws with Pitch Perfect 2 is that there are a few characters, at least for the first half, that did come off force. Like, there's this character I think I named Flo, there's Cynthia, and then there's that girl that talks real lowly like... Like, those few characters in the first half, I thought some of the stuff they said, it felt forced, it wasn't funny. It got better by the second half of the movie, but by the first half, I'm just all like... Yeah, that doesn't quite work for me at least. I was honestly missing the interactions between Skylar, Aston, and Anna Kendrick because, you know, I really enjoyed their bond from the original film and I enjoyed how Skylar Aston was talking to Anna Kendrick about the movies. You know, that was one of the aspects I enjoyed about Pitch Perfect. They barely interact in Pitch Perfect 2, so I wish that there was more interactions between them. And I did think there were a couple of parts in the movie that did come off rushed. But honestly, other than those moments, you guys, I really did like Pitch Perfect too. There were more jokes that hit for me this time around. I felt more connected to the characters. I had more fun with the singing moments that were going on. And I just had a really fun time with it. I'm sure even if fans of Pitch Perfect don't enjoy the sequel as much as the first, I think there's still something to be enjoyed in Pitch Perfect 2 for the fans. But me not being so much of a fan of the original, I was really entertained by the sequel, so I'm going to give Pitch Perfect 2 three out of four stars. Yeah! So you guys in the comments <laughs> In the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Pitch Perfect 2. If you're a fan of Pitch Perfect, let me know. How does it compare to the first Pitch Perfect? Did you enjoy it as much as the original? Did you not think it quite lived up to the original? I am really curious to know, especially from the fans themselves. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! <clears throat> that was Aka amazing.